Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here, back with another video. Guys, before I start talking about hard drive mining, please check out BitTruth. Uh, we did a, a collaboration together, and it's called Six Reasons to Start GPU Mining in 2019. So I'll have his video linked down below, and please let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Guys, I want to talk about future potential for a few coins that are related with hard drives and decentralized storage, uh, such as Filecoin, uh, StoreJ, BurstCoin, and SiaCoin. It's come to my attention that this is something that we may want to keep on our radar. And, you know, like I, I have a passion for crypto mining in general. So, you guys know I love video cards. I do all that kind of stuff. But I've also dabbled into burst coin mining back in the day. And I do have a server with about, uh, I think it was eight hard drives right now. With uh, two or three terabyte hard drives uh, that are mining burst coin right now. But uh, that's, that's not the thing I really want to talk about is, the thing I really want to talk about is the the aspect of decentralized storage and its its potential future and as well as the potential of earning uh, an income uh, by storing uh, storing stuff on your on your own hard drives and becoming decentralized you know helping the network uh, with your hard drives so let's let's take a look at that first. Uh, the first project I want to take a look at is Store J. Um, these guys here, you can you can earn money by sharing your hard drive space. So they haven't um, they haven't released they haven't gone uh, on their mainnet yet for the network, but you can sign up for the early access. Uh, Store J pays you for your unused hard drive capacity and bandwidth. We rent unused hard drive capacity and bandwidth from all over the globe, and our current network has an active storage nodes on every continent except Antarctica. We are redesigning the StoreJ network uh, to scale to support exabytes of data and expect the release of a new version uh, of our platform in 2019. So here we can sign up for early access. Uh, the following questions will help us evaluate your storage node specifications. Nodes will not be disqualified based on their specification system specifications, but this data will be used to evaluate how nodes can be best utilized for our new S3 compatible network. Healthy V2 nodes will receive priority access then first come first served entries. <sighs> so you guys can see here one processor space available. <laughs> 500 gigabyte space available hell yeah bandwidth two terabyte a month uh, I guess most of you might have um, uh, unlimited bandwidth uh, I, I have unlimited bandwidth so I can do all that streaming nonstop uh, on my internet connection uh, so yeah check this check this one out guys I feel this is a potential one that's coming out in this year Store J, uh, let's take a look at their coin price right now, in case some of you guys are wondering. I'm not worried about the price myself right now, but as right now, one Store J storage coin is 15 cents, 0 0.149 cents right now, uh, USD. So take that as you will. Interesting coin. Interesting project, decentralized cloud object storage that is affordable, easy to use, private, and secure. I really think uh, that could be an interesting project. Launching fall 2019. Okay, next coin, guys, is Filecoin. I did I did talk about this yesterday, so I'll just briefly uh, show you guys. You can earn Filecoin for hosting files. Put your unused storage to work by becoming a Filecoin miner. Use the Filecoin mining software to get paid for fulfilling storage requests on the Filecoin network. So right now, nothing's released on mining. They can't. Nobody can mine yet on Filecoin. Uh, but they do have a uh, on their website. Join the early miner program, and you guys can sign up here. I won't go through it all, but you guys can. And they have a lot of specifications and uh, requirements for that. So check that out, guys. Uh, the next one is Burst Coin. So I believe this is one of the OG, 
OG coins of, of hard drive mining. Uh, hard drive mining, uh, so they are naturally decentralized because hard drives are cheap and easily accessible. Burst was released without any ICO or pre-mine. Uh, as you guys know, hard drive mining is energy efficient, uh, so <laughs> a lot better than CPU mining, GPU, or ASIC mining. Uh, infinitely, infinitely scalable, so you guys, you can have a lot of hard drives, you know, you can do that with all the other coins, I'm sure. And yeah, so with, with Burst Coin, I've been, I've been mining it for now for a good two years. And, and by any means, by, by any means, you know, it's, it's not, it's not profitable by any means. Uh, Burst Coin, so like, uh, I think about a hundred a hundred terabytes of storage on Burst Coin. Uh, you get about I think ten dollars a month. Ten dollars a month, and I haven't done the electricity costs, but I'm sure it's pretty low. But I don't know if that's, you know, <laughs> there's no such thing as ROI for hard drive mining because you guys know, uh, you know, hard drive prices are are pretty expensive. So like a ten terabyte drive right now. Uh, 299 289 it's it's not profitable by any means so but I'm I'm looking at it at a big a big picture where uh, hard drive mining or hard drive in general proof of capacity uh, for for blockchain you know for the whole network is an interesting idea and it could be something that could be huge in the future I'm not sure in the next year or two that it will be but it's potential with all the stuff coming out, you know, Filecoin, StoreJ, fall in the fall of 2019, who knows? Who knows, right? The technology is is, re is really young. Not not very many people are talking about it. Uh, okay, so the last one, guys, I want to talk about is the store uh, Sia Sia Coin. Sia Coin uh, has a hosting uh, style. Put your spare spare storage on the network to work to make some extra money in the process. It's the same idea with uh, storage uh, and I believe Filecoin um, but with 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 burst coin it's it's just using the hard drives to mine basically and putting these uh, big uh, I would say I don't think it's called DAG files but I forgot what it's called but um, on each hard drive it's it's using it's using um, the free space to secure the network and then uh, it's reading all the files. Oh, I forgot what it's called. I think it starts with a P. But um, yeah, the burst coin mining is a is an interesting is an interesting one. But for Sia coin is another thing too. I believe uh, you can do this right now and set it up yourself. It's already released. It's it's not it's not profitable by any means. I already looked it up. But as you guys can see, let's look at Sia Coin. Sia Coin is around 50 right now. I know they had a lot of issues in the past, and um, but yeah, 0 0.02 cents right now for Sia Coin. Uh, okay, so another thing I want to look at, guys, is the subreddits for these four potential coins, and so just to see what how many subscribers and the uh, the community aspect of it, right? See how popular it is. So with Store J, you can you guys can see 7.6k subscribers on Reddit, subreddit, 1.1k online. That's a lot. So they've been doing a lot of releases recently on Store J and a lot of updates. You guys can check it out. So it seems pretty legit. Not very many people are in it. Uh, Burst Coin only 6.9k subscribers, <laughs> and it's been around the longest. Uh, 2.6k people online. Um, they had Burst Coin had a little drama a few months back, or a month, yeah, a couple months back, and with their development team. Uh, I'm not gonna go through that, but yeah, they had that issue. Uh, Filecoin subreddit only 3.2k subscribers, eight online, so. Filecoin's not very popular and very well known, but uh, with the accredited investors, it is it is popular. So, final thing: if you guys want to get into hard drive mining, 
I, I'm not going to recommend it. I'm not going to recommend not to or recommend to do it, guys. It's just something you guys can think about. Do your own research. Um, I've been I've been doing it myself for the past year or two on uh, two years on Burst Coin, but I'm I'm very I'm very excited for Storage and Filecoin, uh, these two projects that are that are focusing on the decentralized um, decentralized storage. So uh, that's that's one of the things. I'm 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 very I'm very excited about for the future and if that will be something that you know will be popular maybe someday we'll overrule Amazon services or Google Drive or Dropbox or something who knows ah that's probably a long time from now but imagine that uh, that one day that could happen right decentralized storage Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think down below, and if any of you have gotten into any kind of hard drive mining, I may have missed out some other uh, projects, but I think these are the main four, uh, top four right now. So let me know, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. This weekend is going to be really busy, to, busy for me at my second mining location, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to have videos, uh, vlog-style videos with for that. So uh, I'll see you guys soon.